What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I would like to go over something that's for some reason slightly controversial and slightly debated. Some people believe it, some people don't. Uh, the fact is, is like, does the Megalodon still exist? So I feel like this is pretty established. I don't think there's any real way that it could, but some people think that it could. But I just want to give you guys some advice on what exactly the Megalodon is. But before we do that, please remember to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, follow me on all my social medias, which are going to be at the end of the video. Uh, turn on that notification bell, as well as drop comments down below. Do you guys think the Megalodon could still exist? And why? I would really like to know you guys' answers. That being said, though, guys, I just want to throw out some facts here, okay? Megalodons grew from 15 to 18 meters in length. And for you guys, I'll put, like, a comment somewhere as to where that is in, like, feet. But these things were giant. They could pretty much swallow you in one bite. They basically swam around the oceans, hunting whales, giant fish, other sharks, marine mammals, essentially anything they could fit in their mouths, they would eat. And they were pretty much the top predators of their time. Like probably one of the top predators of any time, if you guys want to be truly honest about it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into this article though. And it's going to be more of an excerpt as to why they probably aren't still alive. So real quick guys, before we get into this, this particular article comes from nhm.ac.uk. Uh, please go over there and show them some love, but we're going to stick around and we're going to go over this together anyway. But this is like, I'm going to give you guys why the Megalodon possibly went extinct. And then we're also going to start bringing over whether or not it's still alive. So extinction of a mega shark. We all know that Megalodon had become extinct by the end of the Pleistocene, about 2.6 million years ago, when the planet entered a phase of global cooling. Precisely when the last Megalodon died is not known, but new evidence suggests that it was at least 3.6 million years ago. Scientists think that up to a third of large marine mammals, including 43% of turtles and 35% of seabirds, became extinct as temperatures cooled and the number of organisms at the base of the food chain plummeted. Scientists think that up to a third of all large marine animals, including 43% of turtles and 35% of seabirds, became extinct as temperatures cooled and the number of organisms at the base of the food chain plummeted, resulting in a knock-on effect to predators at the top. Basically, they're food started disappearing so the predators can get enough food to support themselves and when you've like dedicated yourself to being like the top it's really hard to kind of like branch out after that because you've pretty much specialized yourself the cooling of the planet may have contributed to the extinction of the megalodon in a number of ways as adult sharks were dependent on tropical water so this is like warm watered fish the drop in the ocean temperatures likely resulted in a significant loss of habitat it may also have resulted in the megalodon's prey either going extinct or adapting to the cooler waters and moving to where the sharks could not follow. That's a really awesome picture of a great white. Megalodon is also thought to have given birth to its young close to the shore. These shallow coastal waters would have provided a nursery for the pups, protecting them from predators that were lurking in the open water. Like the large toothed whales, as ice formed at the poles and the sea level dropped, these pupping grounds would have been destroyed. So basically they just lost the spot where they were having their babies so their babies would have a better chance of actually making it to adulthood because now i think about it though the sharks are big they don't start out that big although i would feel like a pup megalodon was probably the size of like a large shark today i don't honestly know all right so here's the most important part for this particular video but could the megalodon still exist no <laughs> it is definitively not alive in deep oceans despite what the discovery channel said in the past if an animal as big as megalodon still lived in the oceans we would know about it the sharks would leave a telltale bite mark on other large marine animals, and their huge teeth would continue littering the ocean floors in their tens of thousands, not to mention that as warm water species, megalodon would not be able to survive in cold waters of the deep, where it would have a better chance of going unnoticed. All that being said, guys, like that's a good point. They also drop thousands of teeth. That's how we know that they're the biggest shark that ever lived, but their teeth are really the only thing that we can find. And they, like all sharks, they would have lost their teeth constantly, and that's why we find so many of them. And that's pretty much the scientific explanation of why Megalodon can't be still be alive. Now, I know there's like videos out there people think like could be Megalodons further down, further deep, but the time it would have taken for them to adapt to being a warm-blooded shark species to a colder environment like that is relatively hard especially for something that's been specialized as much as the megalodon were and like they said these things ate whales they were not a small shark so the fact that we don't see whales with bite marks taken out of them that are megalodon sized kind of just implies that they just aren't around anymore uh but all that being said though guys please let me know what you guys think do you think the megalodons could still be alive i would like to know if they are where do you guys think they're hiding out probably not in the deep ocean but let me know what you guys think 
and follow me on my social medias, which are coming up next. And I will see you guys in the next video.